This is the uh, the basic construct that's used in the Bedford Cloud, and it has absolutely nothing to do with the title. Where the title comes from, by the way, is uh, L.A. Goldratt uh, read a book by the author of Jonathan Livingston Seagull, and it's about a guy Jonathan flying, Zion. actually the author, flying across the United States doing barnstorming. And at one point, he's kind of laying in the grass, looking up at the white puffy clouds in the sky, and he sees them just evaporating away. And somehow he related this idea back to conflicts, and he got to thinking about it. And uh, he, like Dr. Deming, uh, had, had a PhD in physics, and so he always thought about things from a very sort of real world kind of view. And he said, geez, you know, in physics, it, when we go out there and we see something and, and there's one scientist over here that has one idea, one scientist over here that has another idea, like maybe we're measuring the height of that door and one says it's six feet tall and one says it's seven feet tall. We don't compromise on six and a half feet. We go and we figure out how come we're getting different numbers and we come up with that answer that we think is right. He said, why can't we do that with conflicts? Generally, when people have a conflict about something, they actually have the same goal in mind. Instead of um, focusing on the goal, and asking what's the matter with why they're seeing different ways to get to it, they just defend their positions all the time. So when they start talking about where they want to go, they think they want to tilt the resolution in one favor or the other. And the most common solution that people teach on that is, you don't do either, you come out somewhere in between, so both lose. And so, again, coming at this with his physics point of view, he said, well, what, can we do better than that? I mean, why are they getting different points of view? What's happening? And he suggested that probably there, there's something else they're considering important along the way. They have some need that they're trying to fulfill that they think is the way to get to the resolution. And we never talk about that. Furthermore, there's probably where I've drawn these arrows, a whole bunch of assumptions that we never talk about. And so we end up uh, you know, arguing with each other. Let me give you a classic case, and I'm sorry if this sounds like politics. <laughs> but right now, I have no doubt that every single person on both sides of the gun debate that's going on in America today agrees 100%. We don't want people shooting kids at kindergarten, yet they're beating each other up over here, right? Well, how can that be? They've got different things connecting them to the goal. So if instead we could get them to focus on the goal, we might come up with a solution that's better for both sides. And that's what this evaporating cloud is all about. So what Goldratt suggests is that's true of any conflict. And in fact, there's always a better solution. If we're in a conflict, we're in the conflict because we both have interest in the problem at hand. We both have some kind of goal. And if only we can get our minds working to find the best solution, instead of defending our position, our energy will get us there. We're smart enough to do that. But the more energy we put into defending our position and saying why the other person is wrong, the less likely it is we're ever going to get that conflict resolved. So this is a tool to help you do that.